Hey, then guys, today I decided to make another video about how to get the uh, plug out of the plug from right here. The other one broke off. So the previous video I made, a lot of people commented bad comments. You know, appreciate the comments. And I'm glad you guys gave me those comments so I can make a video and show you guys better how to do it. So, um, after you take the screws off, just pop it in. I mean, pop it out from both sides. So just be careful because this may kind of get stuck in there. Wiggle a little bit. Don't worry if they come off, just try not to break them off, you see? That one came off. And not to worry, you can actually put those back in. And we'll get back to that when we put them on. But just first you do, take this off. Like you see, let me go back and show you guys how to put this back on there. So you got this little Notch you put in there, just going like so. See, they all have a little. Just gotta watch exactly how to put them back on. There we go. So you go like this. You pop it in. There you go. That's all it was. It happened. Nothing broke. Nothing out of the other planet. Then just put the battery out. Okay, so this case, as you see in my previous videos, a lot of people have problems, different models, different things. This one, all you gotta do is put this down. Sometimes it's a little haste, you just push it and it comes out. Like you see, this is what I'm talking about. Sometimes they do that, but there you go. It's nothing too hard. After that, you gotta take this out because a lot of people forget that and then they're breaking it. Here you just have one screw. You gotta take it out too. That one's looping. There's more ones to get out, get lost. Now here's the tricky part, you know, once you get this, you see, that's where you have to get that one unlocked. Take the little Things like that will kind of pop out, so just put them back, it's no big deal. Alright, goes on this one right here. You gotta take the case off right here. So here's the little safety pins right here. Gotta take it back a little bit. The best one side you're gonna start off, you're gonna push them here. Just gonna get this first. Just kind of It looks easy, but this is better than buying a new remote. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the other side then. So I appreciate those comments, even if they're bad, because you know, they make the next video better. That way I can point out what to do and what's next. So once you get that out. You see the head pieces in here. Last time I did, I took this out from here, like with a screwdriver. So today I got a better way to do it. Now, a lot of people may say, well, my remote's gonna break. Well, it actually can break. You gotta do it carefully. Like the previous video, a lot of comments say my remote broke and stuff, but they didn't have no patience. Some remotes are different. They got more, more electrical stuff right here. Let me show you exactly how I'm going to do this one. It's going to be different. I mean, you can do it with the other one. But you see, you're just going to push it. And see how it's coming out? After it's kind of open right there. There you go. You see how it is? You can actually just push it all the way out through there. But I think it's better just pushing it back. Push it back in. See? There is the problem. Now, a lot of people said that, um, how are you going to put it back in? The piece you took out. So, literally, just bend this back the way it was. It's really hard to handle these things without getting desperate. See when you gotta set it up. 
There you go. I don't know if you guys could see how exactly it went in, but it's back like it used to be. As you can see, you can put any plug in there, and it's, it's okay, no problem. It's a problem solved. Now to put it back, it's the same thing. You just flip it back around. Got to put the safety pins back. Those are really easy. Just push it in, and it stays. So I put I put this down all the time. That way, when I put it back, it's not a big deal with any buttons getting misplaced. So here, what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna put the wire in here first because you know that has to go in there. So there we go. A little white line that way you know it worked. Push it all the way to the white line. There you go. So then. That means that's where it's supposed to go. Just put the screws back in. Let's put the case back on there. Battery case. The line has to go on there at that side. Once it's plugged in, it's good. Now, this one here, gotta make sure this side goes towards the inside. So, we're gonna push it again to the black lines. There you go. Put this back in, it's kind of tricky. You just gotta get it from top. Pull it in. Once it's in, just set. It looks easy, and it's actually easy. You just gotta have patience. Just pop back in. Put the screwdriver screws back in. Like I say, if you guys seen anything wrong I did or you'd like to make me fix anything better for my next video, just comment. And I hope this video helps you guys out. I know this is my second video about the second the same thing, but you know last one I seem to have a lot of comments that say that it helped and it didn't help, so, so that way you guys can have a better view how to fix the remote. Well there you go, if you see just that easy just to put it on there. Hope you guys like it, the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe if it helped you guys, and thanks for watching.